Hey y'all, it's your girl, the real deal, Anita Skills reaction. Like, share, and subscribe. And I want to get into a reaction that um, <laughs> I'm gonna make y'all. I'm gonna let y'all react on this. Okay, it's a teacher in Canada. Uh, it lists kids in you know like intersectional fantasy. She's come to school. Uh, it's a transgender teacher, and she comes to school exposing body, you know, parts. And I'm going to let y'all watch the video, then we're going to come back and react to it, okay? All right, here we go. <laughs> this is the teacher. So it's the Alton District School Board, which oversees the school, that has sent us the statement we're quoting. The school board recognizes the rights of the parents, staff, students, guardians, community members, equitable treatment without discrimination based upon gender identity and gender expression. Gender identity and gender expression are protected grounds under the Ontario Human Rights Code. Oh, the Human Rights Code. Really? We're the right to kid. There are none. In other words, if you complain, if you're a parent who complains about Stephen Hanna enlisting your children in his sexual fantasies, you are the criminal. You are breaking the Canadian law. For the most part, the Canadian media, the most supine media that speaks English, are siding with Stephen Hanna, the sicko. Other than the noble exceptions of Jonathan Cade, who was quoted, and a small feminist blog called Redux, nobody is covering what Stephen Hanna is doing to kids, sexually. The rest are effectively defending him. From the Sun, for example, what would this headline? School board prepares for backlash over trans high school teachers. Oh, backlash. Trans high school teachers. He's protected. No, he's a freaking weirdo wagging fake breasts in the face of your children because it titillates him. And if you complain about that, you're the problem. So the problem is parents, not the pervert in the classroom. It's hard to believe this is happening, but we're sad to tell you it's not just happening in Canada. You see versions of it everywhere, including in this one. Okay, y'all, what's going on is an old via Travaga High School disagrees. In fact, an old view Travaga High School has an in, has in, institution, institutionalized child abuse. The school policy state that dress code must prevent students from wearing clothing that exposes or makes visible genital or nipples. But the policy doesn't apply to the teacher who who are free to expose there. So in other words, um the teacher decided the transgender teacher decided to come to school and expose himself due to the fact that kids can do it. So uh he'll do it for them. So uh he decided he a Canadian school. It's a Canadian school, y'all, of all. And what they was uh, doing, defending the guy. They was defending the trans teacher who wore giant breasts to class. He won, but uh, nobody has nothing to say about it. So I don't know what's going on. I never seen nothing like this, but he wore giant breast to class yes this this teacher right here and he's he was exposing himself it's a canadian teacher and it and the teachers and and the students they felt like nothing was wrong with it but then you said uh that the kids can do it so the school boy in canada is reportedly <coughs> reportedly defended the non and famous transgender teacher who went viral once in a video. Now, <clears throat> is it really about going viral? Is it's about protecting our students? So this this school is in uh, Oakville, Ontario. Okay, Canada. Uh, I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. So, it's nothing wrong with being a transgender teacher, but exposing himself with a long, blonde wig and short, tight pants 
and long sleeve black and white striped shirt operating a table cutting some woods you know with his with the with the prosthetic breasts i mean i don't get that and they think it's okay no so i'm gonna show y'all video one more time And he came to school like that. And once again, it's not the point of being transgender. It's what he wore to school. This is school policy. He came there with shorts, shorts on, with the breasts like that, and the wig. Yes, let's view it again. I don't know what point he was making. But we'll see it one more time. Hold on. Wow. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. It, he more like a wood tech teacher. And wow. Tell me what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.